Today is the day that I get to go see Joel. So, I'm excited. It was on my bucket list. just to have a little chit chat today. I know that I am new to YouTube, but I want to be as authentic as possible and be real with you. I really don't want to be that person who asks you to follow my journey and then I hide parts of my journey. So I want to give you all of me and not some of me. So I've been saying that I'm moving. Don't mind the junk in the back. I just had to pack my classroom up. Thank God school is over for the summer. But I've been asking to follow my journey and I've been saying in my YouTube videos that I am relocating. I've only been in Houston one year to be exact. But that year, it was a very great year for me. I found myself, I experienced a lot of things and it was very rewarding. I never planned to move to Houston and stay here for the rest of my life because I don't have any family here and I would like to raise my kids near family, but I didn't plan on staying here for only a year either. So I've only been here a year and I'm moving with my boyfriend and we plan on getting married and having a family. The reason being is he lives hours away from me and the commute every weekend really is just absurd. And so we are kind of, I'm 35, okay? So I'm looking for an adult relationship and something a little more serious on a daily basis. So we're gonna take risks. Life is about taking risks. I took a risk moving here. I'm gonna take a risk with this guy, but let me share the backstory. First of all, I'm headed to Tarjay. So I've been watching too many YouTube videos and now I want a body scrub. So I'm headed to Tarjay and it is 10 central time, but I'm off cause it's summertime. But anyways, it's crazy how God works things out for you. So if you watch my move in the Houston video, I did a video about giving keys away in my life. And it was my first set of keys was, you know, getting keys to a new car, which I did that, getting keys to a new classroom and a new apartment, and then giving the key to my heart away. And I did just that shortly after I moved to Texas in June of 2020 and of August of 2020 I met what I think to be what I know to be my future uh, but which is crazy you know how they say someone is always the person you're supposed to be with is there and you just don't see them for some people like this guy has literally been in my life since I'm 16 I just never really entertained him or talked to him he never really said much to me but my family knew who he was my aunt worked with him um and we were in high school which is crazy um and then in college we actually went to the same college together so we went to lincoln university oh woo, woo. shout out to um lincoln lions the first hbcu just let that be known because we don't get the love and support that we deserve we starting to now but it should have been there but we're not gonna go there right now. That's a whole different conversation. But he went to Lincoln as well. I knew him at school, but again, we really didn't communicate or converse with one another. We were just, weren't ready for each other. So it was just weird timing when I moved to Texas and I seen him online and I'm like, hey, you're in, you're in Texas? And he was like, you're in Texas? And we kind of hooked up that way. And long story short, we fell in love, but it's just weird because We've been in each other's shadows our entire lives and we just never really looked at one another or took the time to get to know one another on a more intimate level. Um, did she try to hit me? I'm still gonna be in Texas, but I'm not gonna be in Houston. So I want you guys to just follow this journey. I'll be real straightforward about how things are working, how they're not. But I am super excited to blend our dog families. We're getting a home, we got a new home together and we plan on getting married in the near future. And he's very, very good to me. I can be a little spoiled sometimes, he can be a little stubborn. But we're at that age now where we're, we communicate on a different type of level and we do really well. So I'm excited to get to know him further, but I am moving. But before that, I, I had two things on my bucket list. Like there were two things I wanted to do in Houston when I came here. And that one thing was Turkey Lake Hut 
And the other thing was going to Joel. Let me tell you, Joel, Joel makes me so happy. I love Joel. I don't know why. I couldn't take a picture with him. I was upset because we couldn't get pictures. But um, it was due to COVID. He wasn't doing pictures right now. But there's two services. First come, first serve. Don't wear hills because you might have to park, park far. And it's a lot of walking if you have to park far away. We went to the 830 service just because we wanted to get there early. We got there about 745. So we were able to sit down on the front. I loved praise and worship. I loved Joel's same spirit same energy if you watch him on television so i experienced that here's my experience just a few videos couple pictures what are you doing a time for joy and a time for sadness a time to harvest and a time to plant a time to be born and a time to die he was saying, life is going to happen to us all. There are going to be different seasons, ups and downs, victories and losses, good friends and betrayals, promotions and setbacks. If he had stopped there, we'd think, tell me something new. We already know that. That's kind of depressing. But after listing all the things that can happen, the disappointments, the loss, the bad breaks, he said in verse 10, I thought about this and come to the conclusion God makes all things beautiful in his time. He was saying, you're going to go through things that are not fair. People that do you wrong. Set back in your hell. A child that's off course. It's easy to live discouraged. Think that it's never going to work out. But if you'll just stay in faith and keep moving forward in time, God will make all things beautiful. What it says I have, I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be taught the word of God. I boldly confess, my mind is alert, my heart is receptive, I will never be the same. I am about to receive the incorruptible, indestructible, ever-living seed of the Word of God. I'll never be the same, never, 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 I'll never be the same, in Jesus' name. God bless you. And then, I went to Turkey Leg Hut. Let me share that experience with you. I don't have any, oh, I should have put some makeup or something on I got look at my microbladed eyebrows. They're do, they look good. I'm so glad I don't have to wake up and do my eyebrows. It's, I'm telling you, it matters. It's important. So I went to Turkey Lake Hut. My boo took me to Turkey Lake Hut. Um, he knew it was on my bucket list. We got there around 2:30. They closed from like three to five for cleaning. I don't know. Point is, there was still a line outside. There was still a line wrapped around the corner. I knew that I wasn't ever going to get in there without a line and they say the line is an experience and it really is it's in a neighborhood where people are walking around people are going to different places different people showing off their cars get you. We got in there um, 5.30. We didn't get all of our food until about 7. Drinks were really good. Food was really good. I have a bad habit of putting salt and pepper on my food, especially salt. Maybe pepper and salt equally, a lot of it. And I that was probably the first restaurant I've been to where I didn't feel the need to put a lot of, or any, actually. I didn't use any salt or pepper like it was seasoned really well the meat i'm not a turkey leg person i don't really eat that type of food i just wanted to go for the experience and let me tell you food was amazing i had got the alfredo i just want to share a couple pictures with you so here's like some pictures of the line and what our food looked like and it was very tasty <laughs> Most of it. 
Great experience, black owned, and I really enjoyed myself. I probably wouldn't go back just because I don't eat that type of food. Um, that's not my diet, but it was an enjoyable experience and the people were nice, the music was jumping, and it was just, it was eventful. So I did get to do those two things on my bucket list and, and I'm very, very happy about that. So I am, you can go, because I don't want you to kill me. I am leaving Houston with the peace of mind, knowing that God has a plan for me. Everything just worked out so perfectly. I experienced Houston and now God is moving me in another path and I'm excited about this adventure. And um, so follow me, see what's up, see if I survive, see if we survive, which we should. See if we don't, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. So stay tuned, we'll see. We both don't have children, which is very rare, like in your 30s, especially 35, to find someone without children. So. We definitely want kids soon and we want to experience that together, but by all means, I'm in no rush. I just got my passport. Yes, I know I'm late, but there's a couple vacations I need to take. My apartment is packed. Look at all this stuff. Let me show you. I did not realize I had so much stuff until it was time to pack. My studio, I love my studio, and now I'm leaving it to share my space. So I don't know how I feel about that, especially as though I'm used to being a single woman in my own space. But guys, I really feel like this is it. Uh, we have a good friendship. I'm allowed to be myself around him the same way that I am around everyone else. Um, I'm able to do that around him because I used to be in a relationship where I wasn't sure how to behave or how he was going to react to who I actually was. And that was some young girl shit. Like right now, you accept me for who I am. I'm silly. I'm outgoing. I'm straightforward. And I'm very caring. And it is what it is. I make mistakes sometimes just like everybody else. But the good thing about our relationship is we actually admit to our mistakes and acknowledge each other's point of views and then we say we will try to do better moving forward and i know it sounds cliche but a lot of people have a hard time doing that so yes we're doing well we're going on a year strong and so hopefully there's many more so years i'm going yogurt land yeah i know i'm being fat today but it is what it is but let me put y'all on game like call it unhealthy if you want to but yo walmart Walmart has ranch wings and I'm not like a wet wing person like sauce like wet sauce I like dry wings so they have these dry ranch wings yo can you see them look at these they really let me show you these look at this oh my gosh look at this. I don't even want to bite it yet it's not even time it's not time I'm eating like that but the meal, you get six wings and two sides for like $5. Really in a, um, inexpensive and it's pretty good. I don't need anything else at Walmart ready to serve hot food, but those ranch wings, please, if you haven't done so, try those ranch wings. Guys, at Yogurtland, I get the cookies and cream ice cream, vanilla cheesecake ice cream, well, yogurt, then strawberries, caramel, marshmallows, peanuts. It's the perfect combination with a little brownie on the side. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh. So today was a super long day. I'm about to share with you, like, after I went into Target, I tried to, like, change the battery on my car. Well, the, like, remote, keyless remote entry. Anyways, make a long story short, it looked like I was still in my own car. The alarms just going off. I had told you I had all that stuff in my back seat, like after packing my classroom. And I opened the back seat because I dropped the battery in between the car. Like, you know, in between the seats and the console, the middle console and the seat. And I couldn't reach it. So I had to go from the back to dig under the seat to get the battery. But when I opened the back door, all my school supplies fell out. Anyways, it was a long, hot day. But my goal, the last thing I did was I rode around the 10 different stores looking for hair. So yes, I do have my own locks, but every, you know, I've been inspired. Everybody's wearing these long ponytails and I wanted something to shake. So at first I was looking for like 36 to 40 inches and then I realized that might be a little extra. I'm gonna start with a short ponytail and then if I want longer ponytail, I'll buy a longer one.
Just wanted you to know that my dog is not choking. He has allergies. This is what I end up finding. Some 26 inch 1B. And what I'm gonna do is I haven't decided which hair tie I'm gonna use yet, but I'm gonna crochet it into one of these. And then I'm just gonna put that ponytail around my locks and have some hair so I can go like this and be cute, do my makeup and all that stuff after I move, get my lashes done. So this is what I got. I'm gonna take this crochet needle. I'm gonna try to crochet. I don't know if I should use this ponytail holder or this one. We'll figure it out. But I'm gonna crochet the hair and let you guys see how it turns out. So right now I am just, I found, I found this different ponytail holder. I'm gonna use this one. Cause I only have to wrap it around my hair once. And I'm just praying this comes out the way I think about it. So I'll just like do a soft retwist of my own hair so that it looks fresh after I wash it. And I'll just retwist the, um, the crown. So it's crochet. So you just take the crochet pull it through and pull it tight around the headband and just go all the way around. Actually, the hair tie, just go all the way around the hair tie. So let me show you up close. I don't know what I'm doing here either, guys. This is just an experiment. So take, I have a crochet needle, but I'm not gonna use it. So I'm gonna take it, put the hair like this, take the bottom of the hair, pull it through, pull it tight. So I'm gonna do that all the way around and I've, I have like four packs to make the hair thick enough because my hair is thick. And so it will look really funny if the ponytail is too thin. So I'm gonna put all this hair on here and just fill up the headband. All right, so here is the, don't mind. I keep telling y'all don't mind, excuse my dirtiness, but I'm packing, y'all gonna see. Look. Look at the ponytail. So it's on a hair tie, and it needs to go over this, but let's see. We can stretch it out. Let's see if I can put my hair. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I think I need to make a, a hole here so I can grab my hair. Okay, we stretched it down like this. Okay, now, I'm going to try to put... Okay. All right. So, I'm trying to figure out how do I get it tighter. But listen, I told you this was an experiment. So, I might have to take it off of here. But I think what I'm going to have to do is actually put it on one of these larger bands so that I can make sure that this is not hanging loose like this. Because this headband is too small, I can't double wrap it. So I'm going to have to go put the hair on one of these longer bands. I put it on a larger headband so now it looks like this. Okay. Oh, this is the test. This, this is... I don't know what goes into my head, like why I think about doing the things that I do. Hopefully you can see it. So pull the hair down. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna pull again. Loop, hopefully you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but I was really starting to get frustrated with this weave. sure how I feel about it well that's the hair because I didn't pin it but it's on there I wonder if I could I could probably actually wrap this one more time maybe I need to add no that's enough I feel like it's enough hmm okay so I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to do my hair neatly and wash this, do a soft retwist. So I washed my hair, retwisted the crown. These are the results. I'm loving the ponytail. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.